welcome to my channel. My name is Crystal Kime, and today I'm going to teach you how to be an expert at... Wait a minute. Nope, nope, nope. Can't do it. That's not what this channel's about. Hang on just a minute. Like I said, my name is Crystal Kime. Welcome to my channel. My whole goal here at my channel is to create a friendship through the camera where I share things about my life that I'm going through. And we try to learn together and I want to encourage you and challenge you and grow with you together, kind of like a friendship. Nowadays, it feels like everywhere you look, there's an expert in something. You flip through Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, there's somebody trying to teach you or coach you or show you how to do something. Experts are everywhere. Now in my birthday video a few months ago, I talked about the idea of staying humble and I kind of shared a comedic um, expression of how we don't know that much. Now I see a lot of my generation going around teaching and inspiring and encouraging and having lessons and, and putting together programs and coaching and all of this stuff and I think it's awesome. But the truth is we don't need to be experts in every area. We don't need to have all the answers all of the time. In fact, I believe that we are specifically designed to have weak areas and strong areas in order to work together and build relationships and community. There's a beauty that comes when we express that sometimes we just don't know. Some of my favorite speakers and YouTubers and and people that encourage me are those that admit when they don't have an answer. Those that admit when they've messed up or are fumbling through things. Those are some of the most encouraging speakers and voices in my life. So many of us are wanting to affect the world with positive change, but I want to encourage you not to underestimate the value of validating and acknowledging people's feelings. It can make a huge difference and impact in someone's life. While I was working with teens, I'd have a lot of different people, teens, parents, youth leaders come to me and share what's going on in their life and share their stories and share their struggles. and. My personality is one just to go and give advice. You should do this, you should do this, you should do that, you should do that. Here, I'll help you with this. Here, I'll coach you with this. Here, let's get this done, which is awesome and great. But I found over time, I began to realize something that a lot of times people didn't really care what I had to say about what they needed to do. What they wanted was someone to acknowledge what they were going through and acknowledge the feelings and emotions that they were feeling. So as years progressed, I began to learn and change the way I interacted. When someone came to me, I began to let them share and listen, listen intently. And then I would try to understand their emotions and understand where they're coming from. And I would, I would share maybe something in my own life that I think related to what they were going through. And if I didn't fully understand their experience, I would say, hey, I have no idea what that feels like. I've never been there, but I can imagine how hard that is. I can, I can, I can understand what it's like to lose something, or I can understand how difficult that must be and acknowledge where they're at. And then I wouldn't just jump to the conclusion of, oh, okay, here's what you need to do, here's this, here's that, here's that. I started beginning to ask people, now, is there anything that I can do to help you with that, or, or what can I do for you? And you know what was surprising? 
is that the majority of the people, after I validated their feelings and listened to them and asked them their question, asked them that question, what can I do for you? Most people didn't want me to do a thing. They just wanted someone to talk to about it. And just talking to someone encouraged them and lifted their spirits. But you see, so often what we do is we run in and we just try to tell them what they need to do and and just say, you need to do this, you need to do that. Oh, you should have done this or you should have done that. Which when a person is going through difficult times, when a person is struggling, when a person is hurt and they're lost in grief or difficulty, the last thing that they need or want to hear is you should have. Because they already feel broken. But so often that's the first thing we run to. I do that. I struggle with this, guys. I need to work on this. Let's not always rush in and try to fix everyone and fix everyone's problems. Because you know, a lot of times that fixing and that wanting to teach and wanting to help, it can come from a good place. And a lot of times it does come from a good heart, but sometimes it comes from a place of wanting to validate ourselves. Wanting to make ourselves feel like we know something, we can encourage someone, we can lift someone up miss that there is a person sitting right across the couch or right across the way that is struggling and hurting and just wants to know that you are there and you acknowledge that they are hurting. So that's my challenge today, guys. My challenge is let's acknowledge people and the hurt that they're feeling and what they're going through first before we give them advice about what they need to do. All right, my name is Crystal Keim. I hope you guys enjoyed this video today. If you haven't subscribed, be sure to do and ring the bell so you don't miss any of my videos and I will see you guys next time. Bye.